You may not like to cook, but you might like a drink. So I'm gonna show you some herbs that you can still grow at home to add to some cocktails. First we have mint, rosemary, thyme, and lemon verbena. We're gonna plant these in pots separately. You wanna allow enough space for these plants to actually grow. Common mistake is to overcrowd your herbs. So today I'm gonna to choose four different types of pots to show you some examples of what you can actually pot into. Firstly, you don't have to spend a lot of money, so you can get simple plastic pots from your local nursery and they won't set you back more than a couple of dollars. The other option you have is terracotta pots. I love terracotta pots, particularly for their look and feel. Just remember, they're quite porous, so they will require a lot more water than a regular pot. You can use old containers. I use something like an old watering can. And finally, I'm gonna use a felt planter. Now, this won't actually rot because it's made of polyester. I like these a lot because they're soft, they're easy to handle, and they're great for softening up a space. Now, to get started, you're gonna need some potting mix. Now, with potting mix, you get what you pay for. Quite often, it's the fertiliser in it that is the difference in price. Just grab your pot, give it a bit of a squeeze. It should release the roots. And as you can see with mint, it sends out all these runners. So if you planted this with all your other herbs, it would actually eventually take over. Just give it a little bit of a tickle, place it in position, and then backfill with some more potting mix. I would just add some seaweed solution and liquid fertiliser and give it a good watering in. One advice, when picking herbs, pick out the outer ends. You don't necessarily pick the largest leaf, pick the tips. What that will do will actually encourage the plant to actually send out side shoots, making it a bushier plant. Other than growing food or eating, my third favourite thing is to have a good drink. So I've got Chris here from the Black Pearl, who's going to mix us up some cocktails today. Any considerations when working with herbs and drinks? The, the main consideration for us when using any herbs is fresh is best. Um, that goes for anything we put in a cocktail, especially herbs, because we want a really lovely, uh, vibrant flavour to it. But we also want to make sure that um, aromatically, we're getting some really lovely fresh aromas to the cocktails too. If you were to make a drink for yourself, what would you make? Uh, today, this drink's traditionally drunk uh, in Kentucky during the horse races. So you imagine super hot, super humid. So what we're going to do is pack this with as much crushed ice as possible and make sure it's super cold and super fresh. And we're just going to throw a shot and a half of bourbon in there. We're going to use some almond syrup, some pomegranate molasses, and we're just going to throw a little splash in that. And then what we're going to do is just pick a few little lemon verbena leaves. And what we want to do is just give these a little chance just to kind of infuse into the liquid. So we'll give those a little, a little spank again, just to get those aromas really working nicely. We'll just give it a bit of a churn just to mix all those ingredients and get it really, really nice and cold. One little straw in there, top it up with a bit more fresh ice just to make it super cold. We'll um, call that the 11th hour julep. Well, I hope you realise that's for you. Oh, cool. Perfect. No worries. Cheers to you, mate. See ya. Thanks, mate. <laughs>